Hello everyone, welcome to another Magic the Gathering video and today you can see it's a special unboxing video. I have all the new Planeswalker decks from the new 2021 set luckily sent to me from my good friends over at Magic Madhouse to open up and unbox on the channel for all of us to see and what's extra special about this. Not only do you get a super cool deck but you also get a booster pack in every single one of these so we'll be opening those packs at the end so you're gonna have to stay to the end and see and hopefully we pull some cracking pulls from the packs as well but boy you're gonna open these one by one and take a look at the decks and basically see what's inside So we're going to start off with this. Now, they're all pretty much the same price, but this one, if you buy singly, is actually a little bit more expensive than the others. So we're going to have a little look at the back. It gives you a little bit of a description. Liliana Death Mage, freed from her previous burners, Liliana's Preds, take what is rightfully hers. Uh, gives you a nice little bit, of, um, little bit of a write-up about Liliana there. You get a deck box. You get 60 card deck playable tabletop or online because there is a code inside as well that you can actually put this on arena so all in all these are around i think around eight to nine pounds each you can buy the set and get it a little bit cheaper but this one is probably retailing about 11 or 12 but for what you get a 60 card deck all the cards can go on your arena account as well so if you play arena that's really cool and you get a booster pack as well so let's get inside and have a little look see you get a lovely premium foil there, as you can see. A nice foil card. Liliana Death Mage is the Planeswalker that this deck is built around. So return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to your hand is the plus one for this six mana Planeswalker that comes in with four loyalty. The minus three is destroy target creature. Its controller loses two life. And the minus seven target opponent loses two life for each creature card in their graveyard. So if they're playing creature decks, that could be a winner all in itself. Nice little foil there. Very nice to the decks. So this is the deck box you get. Obviously just a little bit of plastic. Just a plain cardboard decks, but it has, has a nice picture of Liliana on there as well. So we will open up. And of course, you will get a guide in these as well. And you get a Corset 2021 booster that we will put over there and open up at the end. So, nice little deck box for your Planeswalker deck there. We've got the cards there. And then this will give you... We're not going to do this for all of them, but we'll have a look on this one. This is just a little write-up. Tells you a little bit about the deck, playing the deck, terms to know as well, like Death Touch, Flash, and Indestructible in this deck. It will give you a little write-up, a little bit of spiel about Liliana and Death Mage. And then on the back, it just basically says, what are Planeswalkers? And um, nice, nice little bit of art on there. Um, but what you come to see is what isn't in the packs. Let's have a look. We can see straight away we've got a nice a rare there, Liliana's Standard Bearer. Now, am I going to get into this straight away? There's usually a little tab that you can find. Have I found it? Well, I didn't struggle too much getting in. That's not too bad. So get rid of the paper. I'll be tidying that up later. And let's have a little look at the deck. So Liliana Standard Bearer is one of our rares that we get in there. It's a 3-1 with Flash. Zombie Knight. Costs 3 mana. Pretty nice. Enters the battlefield. Draw X card where X is the number of creatures that died that turn. So you're going to need stuff to die to be able to get that to happen. And if not, you're just going to get a 3-1 Flash creature. We get one of these cards. Now this is definitely standard playable. So you're getting a really good card during Demonic Embrace. This is being seen in the Mono Black Aggro decks. So nice, nice addition. Possibly why this deck is worth a little bit more as well. Uh, this is Enchant Creature. Gets plus three, plus one as flying. It's a demon in addition to its other types. What's good about this card though, you may cast it from your graveyard by paying three life and discarding a card and paying its other cost as well. So it does have a bit of recursion as well. So Demonic Embrace is a very nice rare to have in the deck. Liliana Scorn, destroy target creature. You may search a library for the... Uh, they do this in all the Planeswalker decks. You'll have a card that does an effect and then you can go and search for your Planeswalker because obviously the objective is that you want to get your Planeswalker out. So even if it dies, you can search your graveyard as well. So you'll have one of that in all of the decks. And in fact, you get two in there. So let's have a little look what else is in the deck. We've got Grim Physicians. So I'm thinking it's definitely going to go down the zombie theme here. 
You'll get multiples of some of the cards of some of the uncommons as well, like Bushmeat Poacher here as well. Uh, Grim Physician, another one as well. Um, basically, it gives synergy to the deck, which is really nice. Now, well, you can put this on Arena. You can have some fun with it. You can probably do some dailies with it. I'm not sure. It, you know, you might be able to upgrade it. So if you want to see some upgrades for these decks, just let me know. And maybe I can put some upgrade videos for this together. Lurking Deadeye. So we've got an uncommon here. We've got Gourmand. Additional cast to cast this spell. Sacrifice a creature. It's a 5-5 five, five flying with trample. Uh, when it ends the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. That's got six, but it's still a very nice card. Another one of them. Mask Blackguard. So we're getting a real nice sort of zombie theme in here. We got human rogues as well, human wizards. We're getting a bit of everything to go with this. You will, you know, obviously playing this deck, it's going to be about sacrificing creatures. And then, you know, black will always always uh, penalize you. So you're like, when this dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. You will get some of that life back, which is really nice as well. Spirit of Malevolence. Then you're going to get some swamps in there. And then you get through, and there should be... Oh, so we get one of these. Are we going to get any more? No, just the one. So we've got one flashy swamp. Well, would have been nice Would have been to get them all like that, I must admit. Uh, unlikely aid. So a bit of combat trip, making stuff indestructible and giving something plus two, plus naught. And we've got even more here. Like more combat tricks. Death touch, lifelink, instant speed, instant speed shenanigans. A little bit of, you know, premium common removal in there as well. Grass with Darkness. There's going to be ways that you can update this deck, you know, eliminate and stuff like that. But you do get the four Grass with Darkness in there as well. Um, all in all, I think, you know, it's a pretty nice deck. I'm, I'm assuming it's literally because of maybe the Demonic Embrace that has pushed its price up a little bit as well. It's going to be, you know, very synergistic. Maybe I can get some gameplay on Arena for it as well if people want to see upgrades and obviously you know, see how the deck works in action. So we're going to go to the next one now. We're going to go to Garrick. Let's have a little look at Garrick. So I thought it's better to do these all in one video so you can get to see the product in your entirety. Have a look at the decks all at once rather than waiting day by day to see the decks come out. Um, so I hope you like this format. It will be a little bit longer, obviously, but uh, Garrick Savage Herald is our Planeswalker of choice for this one. Five loyalty, six mana. Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it in your hand. Otherwise, put it on the bottom of your library is the plus one. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to another creature. And the minus seven until end of turn. Creature you control game, you may have this creature assigned its combat damage as though it wasn't blocked. So very nice. Um, a little bit shiny there. Not, not, I wouldn't say they're, I wouldn't say they're overly shiny, but actually now I'm seeing it in the light of um, over there. That actually looks quite nice. Um, so we get obviously a lovely pack that goes over there towards the end. We get our Garrick box. Um, sorry, I just didn't show you the art there. So you get Garrick on the front. And then Garrick's Harbinger is on the front and that is a very nice card. Um, I've been playing that a little bit in standard as well. Yeah, I'm going to struggle to get in these. Why don't they just make it easy? This is, where's the tab? Where's the tab? There it is. It is easy. It's just me. So, yeah, this is a nice card for standard. So you've got Demonic Embrace in the black one and Garrick's Harbinger. Although it's, it's just one of, it's still a very nice card. You know, Hex Proof from Black 4-3 has a lot of text on there, but it's a pretty sweet card for three mana. Another card that's been seeing a touch of standard play. So I like seeing cards that you'll be able to utilize in possibly standard decks as well in these products. Because, you know, for eight, nine pound, you're gonna maybe get a couple of cards or maybe more that you can put in other decks as well. Uh, Garrick's Warsteed. This is um, like the Liliana one. This helps us go and search for our Garrick Planeswalker, but it comes in the form of a three, five Vigilance creature, and we're gonna get two of them. So let's have a little look at this. I'm assuming it's gonna be mass creatures. Caryatid. Horn Beetle, very nice card. Can get really, really big. The Horn Beetle, you get to put a 1 1 counter on it. Oh, get those powers in. And you get, oh, you get a nice of them. Ramping with the Caryatid. We've got Brushwag. You're going to get some really cool creature cards in this deck, I think. Brushwag in there as well. Tyranodon, 3 3 Defender. But if you control a creature with power 4 greater, this can attack as though it didn't have Defender, which is nice. I played that in the recent um, Jump Start. That was in the Dino deck. Um, dinosaurs. Oh, Pride Malkin. Nice card. Standard playable, without a doubt. Pride Malkin. Pride Malkin. Then we get Predatory Worm. 4-4. It's one of our uncommons. Has Vigilance. 
Uh, gets plus 2-2 two, two, as long as we control our Planeswalker. So 6-6 six, six with Vigilance uh, but it's nice. Would have been nice to have Trample with it. But perhaps there's a way that we can give it Trample. Uh, there's a Trample. 4-2. Just a standard Trample 4-2. Lots of play sets in these, as you can say. So it is going to be synergistic. It is going to work. You're not just going to, you know, get one offs, one offs here. Um, it seems a pan that we're just going to get one of the fancy arts in there. It would have been nice to get them all. Ram through, great removal. Definitely standard playerful as well. And we get two of them. Garrix up rising. Ends a battle who control a creature with power four or greater. Draw a card. This was nice because this will give all our creatures trample. So like I was just saying about that other big creature that can get bigger. It needed trample. This is what it would give it. So this deck seems pretty strong to me. I'll tell you, for mono green, I think this would be pretty powerful. And then we get the Titanic Gross as well to pump up and maybe trample over Saw some more. So definitely the premium card from that, obviously apart from the Planeswalker, is Garrick's Harbinger. I think that is a really sweet card. Um, I'm still going to say I would have liked to have got... We're going for old Barry next. Um, I would like to have got those special art lands in all of them. That would have been, you know, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Um, so we get Barry out. So all the Planeswalkers all cost six mana as well. Um, so there we are. Old Baza just sitting there. So look at our Planeswalker first. That one is very shiny. Um, four loyalty, six mana. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on up to one target creature. It gains vigilance until end of turn for the plus one. The minus one, whenever a creature attacks this turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. And the minus six creatures you control get plus two, two, and gain flying just till end of turn, though. So no Embolinos for these. No emblems. So put that over there. And that. And then we obviously get a lovely little pack. The old spiel. And, oh, Basri's Lieutenant is seeing a little bit plain. Now, can I get into this one a little bit easier? Probably not. Probably going to be here for five minutes and then go, no, no, I've got the knack now. I've got the knack. Sweet. Right, so what do we get? We get a Basri's Lieutenant Vigilance, protection from multicolored. Played in a bit of a top end of the white weenie deck. Whenever Basri enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control. So hopefully this will be like a counter sort of maybe human sort of deck. Could well be. Speaker of the Heavens. Now that's two playable standard cards in, you know, in constructed decks. So that's really good. And then our search for Basri card is going to be a sorcery card in this one. Put a 1-1 counter on each up to two target creatures. And then search for Barry. And we're going to get two of them. So that's nice. But Speak of the Heavens and Battery's Lieutenant is two very nice cards here. So Human Soldier, Parameter Sergeant, 3-2 three, for 3. Other humans you control get plus 1, plus 0. Uh, this is not a too bad a card. A nice turn 1 play, 1-1 one, one with Lifelink, and you can pay 5 and just pump it up later. So it's not going to be a dead card potentially later on, which is nice. The Gaggle Master, one of the best named cards in the set. Ends the battlefield, gain two life for each creature you control with flying. Four, three for five with flying. Really, really sweet card. We get two of those. We get the Acolyte. Ends the battlefield, put one counter on it. So this is a really cool, so you know, it's not all fully humans, but it is definitely counters, which is nice. And it seems to have a lot of lifelink as well, which means, you know, this deck will be hard to pin down because it's going to be a, you know, nicely powered creatures that are just going to get better and then they're going to have life gain, and then you've got cards like Tempered Veteran that can put counters on stuff as well, and it just seems, you know, put a 1 counter on target creature for 6, or 1, put a 1-1 one one counter on target creature with a plus 1-1 one one counter on it. So that seems, you know, the Tempered seems a very, very good card. We get some Human Soldiers in Adherent of the Hope for them. Sigil Contender has lifelink as long as it has a 1-1 one one counter, and it seems pretty easy to put counters on this. We then get our planes, and we will more than likely get one, because it seems the pattern, of course. We're gonna get one of these, so a nice little bit of art there. We're gonna get Banishing Light, very good removal, a standard playable as well. We're gonna get Fighters One. We, this deck has some really good cards in there, and you could definitely turn this into a really sweet card, just swift response, you can get better than that. Um, so maybe that is an upgrade for the deck as well. But all in all, Basri's deck has some very good playable cards and for me is very easy to upgrade as well. Uh, Basri Tenant, Speaker of Heavens. So yeah, that is a very nice card. So we're now going to get to Chandra. 
Let's open up the Chandra. Here we go. Get our walk up. Move that out of the way. There is the Chandra box. Very nice and fiery. Uh, let's have a little look at our Planeswalker. Obviously, six mana again, but five loyalty with this one. Uh, plus one is Chandra's Flame Catalyst. Deals three damage to each opponent. Nice. Maybe could put in some kind of Chandra themed. Oh, look at that. That That is fully ver. That is shining. Yeah, maybe in some sort of EDH Chandra deck. Uh, minus two, you may cast target red instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. If that spell will be put into your graveyard, you have to exile it. And the minus eight, discard your hand, then draw seven cards until end of turn. You may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana costs. Ooh, that seems pretty tasty to me. That does seem tasty. So let's get these out. Get our pack for the end. And what have we got in front of me? Oh, Chandra's Incinerator. That is the big 6-6 six, six that can cost less. That is really sweet. Um, look at that. Took me how many Planeswalker decks to get it right? Four? Four? Not bad. Not bad. So, yeah, our rare start of rare is this Chandra Incinerator. It's a big 6-6. Six, six. Hasn't seen any play as much as I thought it would in standard, but I still think it's got potential. Costs X less to cast where X is the total amount of non-combat damage dealt this turn. And then it's a 6-6 six, six with Trample. Whenever source you control deals non-combat damage to opponents, the Incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or Planeswalker. Ooh, it's tasty, that card. Double Vision. I like where this deck is going as well. Copying big spells. And then we get in the form of finding our Chandra. In this deck, you get Chandra's Fire Marshal. You get a 4-2 creature with haste. Very nice. So this is going to be all about dealing damage. It's going to do what red does best. Bristling Gremlin can be tapped to do damage to opponents. we got Pyroceratops 2-3. Whenever you cast an increased spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter. So that is really good. Better than Prowess because it's literally the counters will stay on the Ceratops. More Goblins. Pyroling. This is nice. Doing all the non-combat damage and then building your creatures up. And then, you know, this one is definitely standard playable. Uh, putting in there... You've seen it in the Calamity decks. And um, then we've got Heart Fire Immolator. Now, this one does a prowess, so it gets one ones until end of turn when you cast non creature spells. Um, I do like the counter version, which is what Spell Gorger Weird does. Uh, whenever you cast a non creature, you get to put a 1 1 counter on it, and of course, it stays. So, this deck definitely seems very aggressive. I like it. This is obviously what Red is going to do. Ends the battle, two damage to each opponent, which is nice. You get a 3-2, and then you do damage as well. That seems pretty sweet. Uh, we get our mountains, and then, of course, we will get our one of Chandra Fiery Mountain. I love this with the old fire around the bottom. It's really cool. And then what removal do we get? So we get Slaying Fire, three damage to any target for three mana. Um, but if you cast three red mana, it's going to do four. So pretty easy in this deck because all we've got is lovely mountains. Uh, Infuriate, a nice pump spell for one mana. Very nice. More nice removal. One mana shocks are very good as well. And we've got Unleash Fury. So double the power of target creature to end of turn. Instant speed. So flying in there, maybe one of those 4-2 with haste and then just doubling it and doing eight damage. Sure strike as well. Plus three and first strikes. So you can get that first strike damage in. That is pretty sweet. Now, this is for you red, mono red players or Calamity players or anything like that. This is the nice aggressive deck for you. You get some nice, you know, Double Vision is a nice card and can definitely be used in other formats. Possibly Commanders. You know, you're going to get a few Commander cards in there. I think the Trampolator is, could be that as well. So, all in all, these products, for what, you know, for the price they are, under £10... I think are, uh, you know, pretty good value. You're going to get some really cool cards here. And obviously you get to play with the decks as well and play with them online and you get a booster pack. So uh, I'm not just saying this because these have sent me to open, but to me, that is, you know, that's pretty good value to me. Um, Teferi Timeless Voyager is our rare there. Doesn't shine quite as good as Chandra. In fact, it doesn't shine much at all. Um, so the plus one is draw a card. Nice. Um, minus three, put target creature on top of his own as library, so a bit of bouncage. Uh, the minus eight, each creature target opponent control phases out until end of turn, until your next turn they can't phase in. So a bit, bit like the old Teferi Timeless in, in standard at the moment. Um, I can't remember the full name of that. Um, but yeah, that seems to be the theme with the Teferis. Uh, phasing ins, phasing outs. So here we go. 
the pack. The pack goes there. And let's get in. Oh, there's a storming entity there. Nice card. And what's good about these, I like looking at these for the first time, so I've not actually looked into what cards are in the decks at all. Uh, so it's my first time seeing them, and it could be yours as well. So Storming Entity is a nice card. 3-3 three, three Flyer. Costs three less to cast if you've cast an instance or sorcery spell. So three less to cast. So it's going to cost you two mana for a 3-3 three, three Flying Prowess. And when it enters, you get a Scry 2. Very powerful. Teferi, Ageless Insight. Oh, I like this card. This is the one if you draw a card, except the first one, you get to draw two. Absolutely love this card. Nice enchantment. And, um, yep, that's going to need the age tech for me. So, the form of getting our Teferi, this one is a 3-3 flash creature, which is nice because you can flash it in end of turn, then get your Teferi. Uh, very nice. A 3-3, and you get two of them. So, when you draw, this could be all about drawing cards, second cards, counters, it seems, and prowess seems nice. Uh, we're going to get multiples of the Vandals and the Elders for this. Whenever you draw a card, put a 1-1 one -one counter, which is really nice. And it has Flash as well. Um, and Nima can't be blocked um, as long as you've drawn two or more cards. So hopefully there's lots of card draw in here to make that unblocked. More Prowess. Shipwreck Dowser is nice. Ends of battle, you can return target instant or sorcery. So there's going to be a few of them in here, I think, as well. Um, if this attacks and you control your Planeswalker, draw a card. It interests says Teferi Planeswalker, so if you want to upgrade this, you can perhaps add in the new 4 mana tame Planeswalker, and then, you know, get extra card draw. Love the art on this one. 3-1 uh, Mystic Skyfish. We get a few of them. Then we get our Islands. And then we get our beautiful, beautiful Water Art Island there. I do love that. Why didn't you give me them all in the pack? Perhaps it just would have put the price up. Um, so go to some non-creature spells here. Charm, sleep, ends the battle, tap in charge creature, then it doesn't untap. Is a nice bit of sort of slowing down the play when you're playing blue. Mantle of Tides, uh, plus one, plus two. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, Tide. Hmm, not too bad. Um, Stone Dismissal is nice. Bounceage, creature enchantment, opponent control. So you can't bounce anything your own. Which is, you know, maybe unsummon. Uh, Gust of Wind. Spell costs two less to cast. You control a creature with flying. Does have card draw on it as well. So we do need a bit of card draw. Frantic Inventory. I'm hoping there's four of these. Yes. Because these get better as long as they're in your graveyard. So you draw one, draw two, draw three. And then we get Opt as well. So we do get some card draw in here. Um... Not going to say... I mean, it looks a good synergistic deck, this one. Um, but I definitely feel like this one could definitely do with a bit of an upgrade for this. It doesn't seem quite as powerful as some of the other decks to me. Um, you know, maybe some more counter spells and stuff like that. Um, but still, yeah, very nice deck. And you get the Entity, which is a very cool card as well. So that was all the decks. What's your favourite? Make sure you put in the comments... Um, what would be my favourite? I really like the red deck. I and mean, Obviously, I'm a blue mage. I really do like the red deck, but I like Basri's deck as well. Um, Barry's deck seems really good. Um, so that's a um, sweet, 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 sweet card. Right, now let's get on to opening some packs. So five packs to open. Here we go. I know some of you would have just come to see the pack openings <laughs> without a doubt because we do love cracking the packs. So we get Walking Corpse as our first. Come on there. Life goes on. Crash through. Read the tides. Mask Blackguard. Truffle Snout. Roaming Ghost. Light Swift Response. Staunch Shieldmate. And I will just say as well, you might get cards and obviously in your packs that you can add to the decks as well. Liliana Steward, maybe for the Liliana deck. Unleash Fury, which is Cauldron. Skyway Sniper, and our rare is Ursusa. Oh, that's a very nice rare. Um, Lost but Seeking, you may play two additional lands on each of your turns. Great card. Not I mean standard play a little bit, but definitely commander based, without a doubt. So that is a very nice rare. Get Swift for Clubs and one of them. So started off with a very nice, very nice rare. Uh, let's get on. So Radiant Fountain, Snare Spinner. Goblin Wizardry, Library Larcenist, Mind Rot, Titanic Growth, I think the green deck has all of them, Scorching Dragonfire, nice removal, perhaps for your red deck, Forgotten Sentinel, Rewind, definitely good for your blue deck, um, Siege Striker, 
Experimental Overload, and we get Spore Web Weaver. 1 4 Reach Hexproof from Blue. 3 mana. Uh, when Weaver is dealt damage, you gain 1 life and create a Sapling 1 1. Seems pretty sweet. 2 green rares. 2 green rares. But this blue mage sitting here. What? Magic Madhouse, you know I need blue rares. You know this. Right, so we've got Dub. I always say that. Turn to Slag. Great art. Spined Megalodon. Blood Gluten. Return to Nature. Very cool card. Burn Bright. Prismite. Frost Breath. Anointed Chorister that you get in the old Bowser decks. Another Scorching Dragonfire. Then we go to the Uncommon. So we've got Havoc Jester. Pestilent Haze that I think we'll see play later in Standard. Later on. Once Cry Canarian goes. Fungal Rebirth. And we get... This is the third green rare. <laughs> we get Scoos. Very nice card. Exile type card from the graveyard. Then you put a counter on it. If it's a creature card and you gain one life. Scoos me. Right. Are we going for a full house of green rares? Green rares. Are we going for a full house? Let's have a little look. Okay. Oh, we start off with Mine Rot. Titanic Growth. Thrill of Possibility, nice card draw. Rookie Mistake, Fetid Imp, Lanoir Visory, very good. Could go in your green decks without a doubt. Oh, we get an alternate out here, Chandra's Magmut. That is cool. Daybreak Charger, another Prismite. Then we get to our first uncommon, Sanctum of Stone Fangs. Cultivate, this is like a mythic to pull one of these. These are very hard to pull in uncommons, I've found. Oh, this is a really good pack. Chandra's Pyroling. And we get another, another green rare. Jeez, another Spore Web Weaver. What is going on here? Reach Hexproof Blue makes those saprolings. And a foil mountain and a swamp. Can you believe that? Right, one pack to go. Is it going to be another green rare? This is going to be quite unbelievable. Well, we start off with a green Dreadmoor. Hobble Fiend. Larsenist. Scary. I just want to get to the rare as it. Rage's Guile. Another Scorching Dragonfire. Gorehorn. Battalion. We get Strike. Right, here we go. We get the Red Shrine. The old Red Sanctum is nice. Miscast. Very nice blue card. Indulging Patrician. It's green again. What the hell? Primal White. So, apparently, I'm only going to draw uh, green rares. I've never done that in my life. That is unbelievable. Um, Scoot, two spore webs, a Primal, and an Azusa. Now, Azusa is obviously very, very nice, but five packs, five green rares. WTF, what the hell? Anyway, this has been the unboxing. Say thank you to Magic Madhouse for sending these my way and all these green rares. Thank you very much. Check out the link if you want to buy these yourself. You can go and check out the Magic Madhouse link in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, hit it with a like and obviously consider subscribing as well. I would really do appreciate that. And I will see you on the next video, which will be tomorrow.